What's up? Hey guys, it's Ivan. In this video, I want to show you how to use the Facebook comments plugin on your ClickFunnels page. All right. So this is really cool because it allows people who comment on your page, if they choose the option uh, on your landing page, if they choose the option to also share it on Facebook, then the page that you put in will be shared on their actual Facebook page, right? And so all their friends, everyone they know, uh, acquaintances, et cetera, et cetera, they'll be able to click on that and land on your page that you specified. So probably your landing page, right? So a really cool thing to have, something you definitely want to include somewhere on your page. It just gives you that potential free traffic, right? Really cool to do. So there's two ways we can go around doing this. One is just basically using this ClickFunnels uh, comments plugin. Okay. So as I scroll down, uh, let me see. Here at the bottom, it'll say under miscellaneous elements, the last part of your ClickFunnels elements option is going to say Facebook comments, click on it. And then what will happen is, so if, if, if I go here, so for example, uh, I'll, I'll put in a URL, make sure you put in HTTP or HTTPS again. Uh, so, you know, I'll put HTTP, I'll put my website, for example, okay? Or it could be your landing page, right? So, so if this is located on your sales page or on your landing page, you wanna put in the, the URL of your landing page because when people comment and they share on their Facebook page, that page will show as part of their comments. So when people click on it, that's where they will land, okay? So let me just show you an example. So for example, I'll click save uh, and let me preview. So here's what it would look like, okay? So here I've already done some posts. Uh, let me let's see, let me just, I'll keep that there for now. Uh, so we're looking at this one right now, okay? Actually, let me just, let me remove that real quick. I think I'm confusing you guys a bit because there's two of them. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get into the, the second one in just a bit, but first let me just show you this one. So, so here's that, right? So you can comment here. So uh, I've, I've already tried it out, right, with this particular URL. So depending on the URL you put in, that's what will change. So if I have this URL here and then I delete it, and then I do it again in a, you know, in a month or so, all these comments will still stay there, okay? So those comments will still stay. So that's something pretty good, something comforting to you, right? So that you know when you delete it, it's not gone forever. So in this case, what's going to happen is I can comment here. I can say something. In order for it to be Facebook, it has to be at least six characters. I can say, you know, wow, this is amazing, guys. Have you checked this out, okay? And now what I can do is I can also post on Facebook. If I post this, this post will show up on my Facebook, on, on my personal Facebook page with this link, okay? So when people click on my post, they will land on this page, okay? That's really the whole point of this. When I first did this comments plugin, it took me a while to realize that, you know, it's not the other way around. It's not like people can comment on your Facebook page and then they show up here. That would be awesome, but that's not the way this works. The way this works is it just adds a little extra free traffic for you really and some extra social proof. Um, in the book, you know, 108 split tests by Russell Brunson, one of the things he said was that Facebook testimonials and Facebook comments uh, as, as testimonials were the best form of testimonials. People for some reason prefer Facebook over any other type of testimonial. So even if your uh, testimonials look like it's from Facebook, Brunson, you know, Russell Brunson says that's good enough, okay? So that's basically the idea. This is one way to do it. The second way we can do it is, uh, let me see if I should, let me just leave that there for now, is using this website, developersfacebook.com uh, slash doc slash plugin slash comments. This gives you a few more options, okay? So this has uh, quite a few more options for you. So first of all, if you wanna do what we just did here, you can um, just get a code, okay? So over here, if you wanna adjust the width of your, um, of your comment section, you can do that here. Something you can't do with the uh, ClickFunnels plugin, okay? And you can also control the number of posts you have. Well, that's something you can do with ClickFunnels anyway, but um, over here, so let's say, you know, I'm going to add, again, my site. Marketingessentials.com and the pixel width, you know, let me say, uh, I'll say 320, right? Just to show you that you can do it, okay? So this is pretty small, okay? Uh, let's Let's go to the other end, let's say 800. So now this is a bit bigger. Uh, let's go with something that doesn't look, let's say 550, okay? That, that's, that's the default, okay? So now what I would do is if I choose to do this way, because again, it has a bit more control, I'll get the code, I will copy this, uh, I, and I do need to put it into this custom Java script spot, okay? So I'll put it there, and then I will open it, I will paste it there, oops, and I will take this one as well and I'll put it right underneath, okay? And then here, as you can see, is my website, and here is the width, okay? So if you wanna change it again, just change it right there, right? If, 
so you don't have to always go back uh, so you know let me make this 320 just to show you and the website stays there so now if I click save uh, let me remove this so it doesn't confuse us now this should be quite small and this should be on the left hand side okay there it is okay did I not remove the first one uh, let's see just to make sure it's not uh, confusing us we didn't save properly okay there you go okay so there as you can see it's really small uh but but it's there okay so if you want to center that for example you can go here and you can just add a little uh word center here and that should center it now for you okay but as you can see it's different than the than the, than the click funnels one right that, that's that that's there as a default so now it should be in the middle here a very small thing you know you can't even see um the face there as you did if it was bigger but that's basically how you would do it and the process is exactly exactly the same okay so um Next, now, now what, um, what you can also do, right? Something I found pretty cool is you can go to uh, embedded post. You can go to embedded comments. So if you want to put in a particular comment, so this is where the testimonial part comes in. If you want to put in a particular comment, this is what you would do, okay? So you would pick the URL of the comment and you would get the code for it, all right? So you would do the exact same thing. So over here, for example, here's my Facebook page. Suppose I really like this comment. Let me, let me write something. So suppose there's this comment, right? That, that that is just so amazing. What you would do is you would click on this little timestamp here. So click on that where it says just now. Okay, copy that. So after you click on the timestamp, copy the URL there and plug it in. So um, so I'm I'm just gonna remove that, okay? And then I'll just um, oops, sorry, not there. I'll just put it here. And again, you can change the width. And then here's that comment, okay? So here's how you would have your testimonials. You would just put in comments that were really good from your Facebook page onto your ClickFunnels. This is how you would do it, right? You would use this website. So something pretty cool. Um, you could also embed an entire post. So, oh, sorry. And by the way, for, for the previous one, all you do is you just get the code and you put it the exact same way I just showed you. So just put it right there, okay? Exact same way. Um, so embedded post, same thing. Um, you can actually put a full post. So if you want to put the post, just get uh, click on the timestamp for the post and copy it and put it here. All right. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. So so this video, uh, by the way, we made. Uh, I shared. I showed you guys how to uh, share and make an ad out of a video that's not yours. So make sure to check that video out if you, if you're interested. Um, but that's basically how you would do it, right? So as you can see, it, it's it's right there. It's ready. Again, you get the code and you can share this on your page, okay? So pretty cool. Uh, and here it shows everything, right? It shows the likes. It shows. Now, you can like it from the page, but you can't comment. Yeah. So on there, uh, you won't be able to comment right away, but you'll be able to uh, like it and I believe share it directly from the, the ClickFunnels page, okay? So pretty cool. You can do the same thing with videos. Um, you can have really cool like buttons too. So you can add like buttons, you can add save button, send button, share button, et cetera, et cetera, right? You can add that as well if, you know, um, you don't wanna include everything like ClickFunnels has uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Google. Uh, if you just want Facebook and you want it to look something like this, you can do it from here as well. Uh, the other cool thing I found was this page plugin. So you can put something like that. So what you would do is you would get the URL of your page. So let me go to my page, copy that, put it here and now it would it would look kind of like this right so I mean this d doesn't really have anything but um, if you were to have a picture right like I, I don't have a cover here but if you had a cover it would show here it would show all the likes it would show how many likes you have um, I actually just uh, went to my uh, online uh, online marketing essentials Facebook page and I just put it in here okay uh, and that's what it would look like okay so it has some likes it has my posts um, right, you and two other friends like this. Yeah, so normally it would also say how many people like it uh, and it, it would have that share button there. Um, so notice there's no tabs here, right? It just says timeline. So what you could do is if you scroll down a bit, over here it's going to tell you, it's, it says, uh, let me see, yeah, tab. So you can show timeline events and messages. So you can actually message people directly from here. So if I say timeline events messages, now it's gonna give me more options, right? Oh yeah, yeah, so there's the likes. Uh, you can click on events, you can click on messages, and you can message, right? You you can directly message from that page. So really awesome, really convenient. Again, you can change the height, you can change the width 
uh, of this, you can use a small header as opposed to, you know, the bigger ones about half as big. Uh, you can hide the cover photo. You can show the cover photo. Uh, you can show the front faces. You can hide the front faces, etc., etc. Pretty cool. And then all you would do is again, you would get the code and you would put it exactly as you would, um, as I, as I show you, right? So let me just put it here and take that and put it there. And I'll click save. And let me just show you what it's going to look like. So, so something that that's available just makes sharing much easier, right? And there you go. Okay. So, so it shows right there. Uh, now, if you don't like the scroll thing, let me see. I think there is, uh, there's an option to take it out somewhere here. Okay. So, I think if you change the height here, so if I make it, for example, 100, uh, that's just going to limit it. Okay. So, choose whatever you want to, and that's going to limit, uh, limit the spot. No, you can still scroll. Okay. So, let me make it 100. Okay, so th that will, will, will pretty much leave it like that, okay? So something that's available, and here you, you can see some other options that are there, um, but that's pretty much everything that we've covered, okay? So that's pretty much it. Just just wanted to share this with you. A uh, really cool way to share your page. Definitely something you should have on, I think, all your landing pages. Why not, right? It's there. It's extra, extra momentum for you, extra free traffic. Um, so hopefully th this was helpful for you and you guys uh, found out something you didn't know how to do before or something entirely new for you. Uh, so if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We cover a lot of different online marketing tools on this channel. Um, it's just how-to videos, review videos, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.